What's up everybody? As you guys know, I am super blessed to be surrounded by some amazing women in my life. You've already met my mom, my sister, Lana the Great, and some of my best friends. But today, I wanna talk to you about my other girls, the girls at The Rio. I will never forget the very first day that we sat down at our table at The Real. We just couldn't believe that we really were being given such an awesome opportunity as the first ever women of color in daytime. There has been others before, but we were actually the first to ever have a show with majority women of color. So I think that made a huge difference. We recognized that we were opening doors for the next generations of women to speak their minds and have intelligent conversation, bring some feel good to daytime TV. And it's so crazy when I look back it feels like it was just yesterday, but it actually was six years ago. I love the fact that I get to work with three strong, smart, outspoken, funny women. We always get this crazy question, which is, how is the show produced? And we're like, they sat four girls down and we have a conversation about different topics. They're like, yeah, 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 but like, do they tell you what to say? And we're like, no, it's just the four of us sitting down having a conversation and it's really hard for people to grasp that, that it actually is our chemistry and, and that's something that's undeniable and that you can't produce a true friendship and real life chemistry. And I think we recognize that from the moment that we met, they actually did a bunch of chemistry tests, which is when they get a bunch of women together and they would try to see you know, how this would work out, who felt good together. But at the same time, it wasn't about all of us agreeing on every single topic. It was about being able to have a respectful conversation. I love that it ended up being us girls. A lot of people will say, okay, well, what role does each girl play? It depends on the day. And I think that's what's beautiful about women is that we are not one dimensional. One of my favorite shows is Sex and the City. And a lot of people are like, oh, I'm Miranda or oh, I'm Carrie. And when you find out about Candace Bushnell, who was the author of Sex and the City, guess what? The characters were actually based on one person, her. And I truly believe that there's a little bit of all of us that lives in each and every one of us on The Real. You could be watching the show on a Monday and be like, yes, Adrian, I completely agree with you. And on Thursday, be like, oh, hell no, Adrian. Jeannie, you are right. It just depends on the day of the week. And I love that we don't have to box ourselves in and say, okay, well, I am the Latina who grew up in New York and is now married. Like, I don't want to be that person. I don't think I have like a specific role that I play. There are days when I am the conservative, wait till you get married to have sex, Charlotte. And there are other days that I'm the wild Samantha that wants to be hanging from a ceiling. Like, and that is genuinely who we are as women and we don't have to be one thing or the other. And I love that we celebrate our differences on the show and we celebrate that we also can evolve. I think the way I came into the show, looking back, I was like, you know, the fiery young thing. And now looking at how we've all kind of grown and have evolved, it's really special. And I love the fact that the audience has come on that journey with us. There are so many things that I love about the girls, but I'm trying to think of like, what are the funny, crazy things that you guys don't know about them that I can kind of let you in on? Let's think. Tamara's a lot spicier than you guys believe she is. She's a mother, she's a wife, but she's very sexy. Tam and I probably have the spiciest conversations. That's how she's keeping her marriage alive. Yeah. <laughs> Jeannie Mai actually speaks Spanish very well. She grew up in the Bay Area, worked at a joyeria where she sold jewelry. And I think it was really awesome that a lot of her customers were Latinos, so she got to learn to speak Spanish. And Jeannie actually is the one that keeps in touch most with my family. She keeps in touch with my nieces. Her and my dad have like a love fest because she is Vietnamese and my dad fought in the Vietnam War and he has a heart for Vietnam. So they bond over that. Jeannie is the one that has actually been to my sister's house in New York City and like hang out on the floor while my mom like orders food, like Chinese food for us and, and she's just, had a good time and a good blast with my family. So I love that about her. Lonnie, oh, I love Lonnie. She is definitely the most nurturing. Anytime I've ever been sick, when I first came out here to Los Angeles, you guys know that I was born and raised in the Lower East Side. And when I flew out here to be a part of The Real, I actually had no family out here in Los Angeles. And I love the fact that Lonnie became my family. She almost became like my caretaker, my next of kin, my emergency contact. One day I was feeling really sick on the set 
of the reel and they were like, man, there's no one to like take care of her. She lives by herself, the single life. And Lonnie came and slept with me in my bed. We cuddled up and she made sure that I was okay. She took really great care of me and I love that about her. She's the one that answers the phone, she shows up and I absolutely love her. Wait, but I don't, I also don't wanna make it seem like Tam and I are just in the corner having dirty conversations. Tam is my prayer warrior. If I want somebody to pray about something, that's my go-to girl as well. I had to add, I had to put a little extra love on the Tam. Can't make it seem like we're just, you know, having dirty talk. Through the years, we for sure have helped each other with relationships. There were times when like Tam and I would sit in my dressing room and just talk about life, love, marriage, being engaged, getting unengaged, figuring it out, moving forward. And I think it means so much to me when someone like Tamara tells me she's proud of me. We've had moments on the show, emotional moments on the show, and um, it just means so much to me when she speaks encouragement to me and she tells me like, girl, I see you growing up, you've turned into a woman. And for me, hearing that from Tamara means the world. Obviously, we don't always agree on everything on the show, but what I love most about that is I wish they kept the cameras rolling through commercial break. Like, I really do. Like, we need a side camera that just keeps rolling from briefing in the morning. We always say we need, like, low-key a reality show about the reality of the real because, oh my gosh, it is hysterical. We have the craziest conversations and even if we're arguing like in a heated conversation while we're live on air, literally they'll be like, and we go to commercial and we'll sit there and keep debating it. I'll be like, okay, I get what you're saying, but I think this. And I love that it is such a respectful combo that keeps on going that we don't give up on one another. Like if I, I don't look at somebody that disagrees with me and just turn around and say, ugh, she's canceled in my book because she doesn't agree with what I agree with. I, I don't believe that that's what a friendship or a love is about. And I think it's awesome to continue the conversation. There's times that during lunchtime, we'll meet up in each other's rooms and be like, okay, please tell me you understood what I said and that you didn't take that the wrong way or that you understand where I was coming from or from my experience, that's just how I see it. And I, I, that's why I say I wish the cameras kept rolling through all of that because the conversation honestly doesn't stop. We are so honest with each other to a fault. Like there have been times where we walk out and we're like, oh girl, that, I don't know, that outfit, thank God we're sitting behind a desk because you look crazy. But I think that's what real friendship is about. If you can't make fun of somebody, is that even really your friend? But it makes us laugh. I love the fact that if we look amazing, we'll be like, oh girl, your butt looks amazing in those pants. Or, damn girl, that ain't it. My favorite is when the girls are like, um, Adrian, we're not sure what's happening with your eyebrows today because you guys know that I do my own makeup on the show. And hey, some days are better than others. They'll be like, yo, your contour is nuts today. <sighs> but I love that we know that we're never being mean or being bullies or being malicious or evil spirited in the way we say those things. I think just some days we look better than others and that's real. Oh my gosh, I should tell you guys what's in everybody's chairs because everybody has different things. Okay, in my chair I have makeup. Tucked behind me I have tissue paper because sometimes my upper lip gets sweaty so I dab it during commercial breaks or when I just know that the camera's off me. I also have a lip liner and the lip gloss that I wear for the day, whichever one it is for that day. Lana calls those my touch-ups and they're sitting in my seat. Lonnie always has Listerine spray, like breath freshener. I love that, I love sitting next to her because her breath always smells amazing. Jeannie keeps tissues and if I'm not mistaken, hand sanitizer. And what does Tam keep? Tam, what do you keep? She used to keep Thieves oil on her so that she wouldn't get sick and that was something she was constantly putting on her. Tam always smells like a spa. The girls and I have shared so many milestones in our lives together. I mean, literally from Tam getting pregnant with Araya. That was insane and amazing all at the same time. By the way, she gives me credit for a move I showed her. <laughs> for why Araya's here and she's so damn cute. So I love the fact that we were a part of that. You know, we held the secret down for a really long time until she was ready to announce it on the show. From her getting pregnant, a pregnant announcement, to announcing the gender reveal live on television for her baby girl, to giving birth. I will never forget that. Like, Lonnie was with her at the hospital when Tam gave birth and she was the first one to send us pictures. I was actually studying in Paris that summer 
Rai Rai's birthday is July 1st, and I will never forget getting the picture in my phone, and they're like, she's here, she's been born, and we were all like, oh my God, and it was a beautiful moment. Obviously, big moments as well, like me getting engaged, then getting unengaged, then getting engaged again, getting married. That for me was such a huge moment, and the fact that all the girls flew out to Paris with me, we were all on the same flight together, going to Paris, we were all on the same flight together, coming home, they were with me when I was getting dressed, like, Jeannie and Lonnie literally helped me put my dress on and corset at the back of my dress. Lonnie's got a boyfriend and we're about to start setting up some double dates between Israel and James and we're gonna have a good time celebrating moments like that. Jeannie getting divorced, uh, being able to come together as girlfriends and really be a support system for her and tell her that we love her and that we're here for her. We've got her back. I think that really meant a lot to her and it meant a lot to me because strangely enough, I actually think that that brought me and Jeannie so much closer together. One of the things that I'm so proud of at The Real is that there's also freaking awesome women behind the camera. From our executive producer, Rachel Mishkowick, to Jen Ryan, to Lauren Blinko. Just like incredible women that have even given birth while we're on set. Not like literally standing on set, but during the season. It's really special and it's so inspiring to see a woman kick ass. And I think Rachel Mishkowick, our executive producer, is absolutely that. She is strong. She is our fierce leader, we call her, and she's fearless. And I think that she really has taken our show to a whole other level. And she continues to inspire me with just the topics that we're talking about and the fact that she just believes in us and that means the most to us. There are times when, you know, there's difficult topics that we have to tackle and She's always the one that literally is in our ear, by the way, random fact. We wear a little earbud in our ear that tells us how long we have until commercial break because they'll be like, okay guys, it's a minute left, like start wrapping up the conversation. And I love that sometimes if it's a difficult conversation, it makes me so happy when I hear Rachel be like, you girls killed that. And I know she doesn't lie to us because if we didn't, she'd be like, eh, that was all right. I love her honesty. I love her fearlessness. I love that she hears us out and that she believes in us. She is definitely someone that I look up to. We absolutely have a group text thread and it is Jen Ryan, Lauren Blinko, Lonnie, Jeannie, Tam, and myself. Did I say Rachel's on there too? Yeah, that's like the clan. We get on there and we'll be like, oh my gosh, crazy headline. Guess we're gonna have to talk about this tomorrow. We have those funny convos. Oh my gosh, if you got, oh my gosh. Some of our combos are almost too crazy and too good to even tell you about. But they are honest and they are real and they are funny. Honestly, we never have moments on text message where we're like, wait, we have to save this for the show because most of it is too inappropriate to say on daytime television that part. One thing we don't do is we don't talk about the topics of the show for Girl Chat. That is completely off limits. They are fresh on our minds and on our tongues when we get at that table. That's the first time we've ever had that conversation. Honestly, every day that I get to do a show with these incredible women means the world to me. Every day that we get to laugh, cry, share our crazy thoughts and opinions on the real, it is another day that I'm so grateful for to God. I also love the fact that the girls and I pray before we do every single show. And that's really special to us. That's our moment just to say, God, we're just so thankful we have each other and that we have this incredible platform. My prayer every single day is, Lord, let them hear not just our words, but that they hear our hearts. Those girls will forever be in my heart. And I'm so grateful that I get to do such an awesome show with such awesome, incredible, inspiring, strong women. Make sure that you subscribe to all things Asian as well. I'll see you guys next week. I love you, I love you, I love you. Mwah.